Well, our guest now is Mike Irving, a man who wears several hats, mostly baseball caps, as a coach, a baseball scout, and the founder of a business called Batter Up Baseball School. And he's also a school teacher. Mike, welcome. Thanks very much. Good to have you here. Thank you. Now, you're, uh, you, you grew up kind of in this area, and in Scarborough, I, I think it yep, was. And yep. So you probably played a lot of baseball at that time? Yeah, I started when I was about five playing baseball. Uh, yeah, actually, I played softball until uh, I was 12. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So. And you got the bug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever have uh, aspirations of maybe becoming a Blue Jay someday or something like well, that as a kid? <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially as, as I got older and, and I, I realized that I was really good, I was like, oh, man, I feel like... I'm better than most of the people that I play with. I don't know. What, my, so my dad, when I was 12, he said, well, then you have to get out of softball. You have to start playing baseball. Right. You know, and I said, okay. And so uh, that's where it kind of began there. And you, you got a, a scholarship to a, a major NCAA Division I team in the U.S. Uh, well, oh, tell us about that. Well, um, I had a... When I was in high school, I just always had this feeling that I was going to go and play somewhere in Arizona. I remember signing high school yearbooks and stuff and putting a little cactus next to my name, <laughs> really? but never really knowing that that was really going to yeah. be what happened. And uh, there was a school uh, called Grand Canyon University. It was a Christian school, but that really meant nothing to me at the time. I just knew they had a stellar baseball program, and that became the place that I wanted to go and play baseball. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so I went there and then obviously realized later that you go there for more than just baseball. You know. Right, you gotta do a little learning on, on yeah, the yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and you know, and that's, uh, that is where, you know, kind of like my faith journey began. Like you think you're going out there to do one thing and then the Lord says, hey, mm. uh, we're here to right. meet, you know, so. And we, we want to talk about that in a moment, but I, I know I was fascinated by some of the, the various uh, roles or hats, caps that you wear yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, currently. Uh, one is even, speaking of scholarships, you, you help other uh, young people try to find scholarships. Uh, yeah. How's that? Yeah, well, I work with a company called College Baseball Connect. It started a number of years ago, and basically we're... Uh, this, uh, this gentleman who started the company was feeling like it was just difficult to... Uh, for Canadian kids who are really talented to really get the opportunities that the American kids were getting in their own school system. And so, I mean, we know that the, the best baseball played is in the United States, and how do we you get these kids that are really good into the U.S. school system? So uh, we started, uh, he hired me to start running evaluations for kids, and we do baseball videotaping and stuff like that, and... Uh, uh, we edit some really cool shots, and then we send a profile to college wow. coaches. And uh, it's a very successful program. That's, what a great idea. Yeah. I, I can almost see some dads watching right, right now saying, <laughs> hey, yeah. what's that yeah. guy's name again? Yeah. Mike Irving. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's, uh, it's a great service that, that yeah. you provide there. Yeah. Uh, an another one of the uh, various things that you do is, is some baseball scouting, and which involves a lot of watching baseball, which I'm sure you don't mind that much, but tell, tell us about, uh, about this scouting service. Well, when, when people say, you know, oh, you, you work as a baseball scout, they, ought to, they right off the bat, they think that, oh, so you go and you are watching kids growing up and playing baseball, and then you're hoping to kind of draft kids and that, that kind of stuff. That's not, that's not what I do. Uh, I, I actually work at the major league level, and we document uh, pitch by pitch what goes on. Every single pitch in major league baseball oh. gets charted we call it and uh, so I watch a, one or two baseball games a night and document pitch by pitch what goes on and then what happens as a result of that pitch and then uh, what happens defensively and so forth and then they take this information and they uh, sell it to a variety of people ESPN and mm -hmm. uh, Major League Baseball teams and even to individual players so it's kind of a cool so yeah, nice. well, all the all the baseball fans would say, "Well, I'd love a job like that where I'm yeah. watching TV and I, I get to do this." My wife yeah. maybe wouldn't complain as much. But <laughs> I don't know. So, so that's that's quite unique. So, you, whether the, the pitch is a you know a fastball or slider, yeah, or whatever. yeah, we got to call the pitch type, uh, its location, sometimes where its intended location was, uh -huh. and what happened as a result of, wow. of that pitch. Yeah, so, have a pretty good eye for the, for the ball. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of players, a lot of uh, young kids who play. Uh, 
uh, EA Sports, they play the video games and yeah. stuff. Sometimes those computerized strike, strike zones appear and they have blue zones and red zones mm -hmm. where the hitters are hot and cold. And Inside Edge provides that information to them. Huh. Yeah, cool. so it's pretty cool. Now, to something that you're uh, right in the heat of right now because it's summertime, your Batter Up Baseball School. Uh, yeah. Tell us about that. Well, I, I was working at a baseball camp when I was 16. I was hired. And, uh, and I loved it. Uh, I got paid peanuts, but I didn't care. I would have paid to do it. It was just <laughs> awesome. And uh, I did that for a couple of years, and then the baseball camp shifted to another location that I wasn't able to go to. And so I decided uh, when I was 19, uh, yeah, I was almost 20, to, to start my own baseball camp. Mm. And uh, it just uh, started to grow. Uh, out in the east end of the city, out in Scarborough and Pickering. And then uh, that's kind of been what we've been doing ever since, even though it, now it's in Mississauga. But uh, yeah, that's how it started. So you, years you ago. teach uh, some of the basic skills to, to kids and then play some games. In fact, I, while you're talking about that, we're going to have your yeah. son come on over. I saw, noticed you, he had the, the shirt on yeah. and you pulled him out of camp today. <laughs> yeah. And this is, this is Cooper. How you doing, bud? Yeah. Hey, Cooper. <laughs> You enjoying the baseball camp? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What, what's your, your favorite part about it? I like the end of where we get to practice our skills and, like, have a baseball game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Instead of all the drills, you're actually playing the game. Yeah. 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 He was telling me this morning, he's like, I love the home run derby on Friday. We always do a home run derby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. And uh, so, Cooper, keep up the good work. And, uh, and so we'll, we'll have you go back. I'm going to talk to Dad a little farther, all right? <laughs>